Wow, wow, uh, I, that, that was nice. You, you don't get to hear that at home. Uh, welcome folks to Up to Speed, a special edition. Uh, yes, the, we have a live studio audience here uh, at Basking Ridge, at the Ridge here. And this is a little something different. Uh, we are live from the Leadership Forum. And as you can see, uh, there are a few more people uh, than usual uh, in this room. It's been 14 months and uh, we haven't seen this many people. Now, I just want to make sure we, we talk about this um, here in New Jersey as I cover my date of birth. <laughs> um, if you are fully vaccinated, uh, you are able to uh, be inside buildings without your mask on. I, I have it just in case here, but certainly a lot of our leaders are fully vaccinated and they are here and experiencing something that really we haven't experienced collectively in a very long time. Some of our leaders here started uh, digitally, virtually, uh, and, are, and are meeting um, colleagues and, and leaders and, and, and their bosses in person for the first time. So it's a very interesting dynamic here and uh, we've been able to share of course in how we continue to grow um, how the second half of the year is so essential for our success and how we will continue to lead the way and of course um, these ideas of leadership it extends to all of you watching as well this is a very important time for all of us um, and and in a way what you see here uh, in the room are, are moments where um, you know normalcy it may not may not be the right word here uh, but certainly um, this next chapter um, is full of incredible human interactions that we have uh, missed sorely. Uh, and it's wonderful to see uh, folks uh, uh, greeting each other, handshakes, hugs, smiles. Uh, I love seeing the bottom half of people's faces finally uh, in person, um, but, but it's awesome. But let's get down to business. We have Hans and we have Christy joining us today, uh, live from the Leadership Forum. A lot to really lean in and think about here. So with that, let's invite Hans, and Hans will, of course, photobomb my shot. Yes, per usual, there, there he is. There he is. Give it up for Hans, folks. Let's hear that live studio audience. Thank you, Andy. Uh, and uh, always when I'm up to speed, I'm thanking him for inviting me. <laughs> yes. You know, that's not that often that you invite me to this fantastic right, show. Right, I know right, that. Right. So I'm happy and I'm, I'm very glad for being here. Hey, guys, uh, all V-teamers out there, great to be uh, talking a little bit here from the Leadership Forum. And as uh, Andy said, we're a couple of us gathered here, but of course, uh, vaccinated all of us here and we started to bring slowly uh, some leaders back in this room and it's been a great day so far and uh, a lot of things to talk about uh, a couple of things you're starting off first I would like to welcome all the interns uh, that are hopefully are on up to speed I think it was some 400 started yesterday Christy 400 so welcome and Hans, a lot of the interns are watching Up to Speed on Twitter at Inside Verizon, and we're going to invite them to ask questions as well. Be a part of this, uh, so you can you can write them out on Twitter. We're watching, or you can go on Slido.com, and the event code is Verizon. So uh, we've got oh. a little Q and A. So interns, V teamers, everyone, go to Slido.com. Event code Verizon, ask those questions. He just remember his script that he didn't have said that before, you know, that was just very clear on that. Anyhow, now you remember, you can ask questions and, and welcome to all the interns. Uh, I want to start where we always start about the, the state of the planet or the state of the pandemic, and, and, and uh, there are big differences. I mean, if you're attending this from parts of Europe or Asia, uh, still combating a very challenging situation. In some cases, a surge in the pandemic and the COVID-19 and friends, colleagues, uh, family, or of course in a vulnerable situation. Uh, here in the US, a little bit better, I have to say, uh, uh, an enormous effort of vaccination the last three, four months has made us coming slowly back. And uh, so it's very different. So sometimes when you make statements, you need to think about it because there's so different situations for many of the V-teamers and the colleagues and families and customers. So uh, I won't start there. And, and also talk about the front line. I mean, I talked so much about the front line all year, and I had now the chance, together with many of my colleagues in this room, has been going out to the stores, meeting field engineers, thanking them for the 
for the last 18 months, uh, being out there to our, with our customers, for the society, doing the great work, and it's a reason why we're here today. And, and uh, our networks has been up, everything has been working, our customers uh, has been supported through this time. So it, it's been great for me to come out and see what is happening and, and how, how all of you out there have done it terrific job for the company and how we have come together as a company as well. And Christy will talk a little bit more about that later on. So I will not steal a thunder for her. I will just start saying on the Pulse Plus, which we do once a year with more questions, we had 113,000 V-teamers, 87% of you responding. I think that is the biggest vote of confidence that you have that what, what you say matters to us, and it does. And it matters to the leaders, it matters to your colleagues how we, uh, with that information. So for me, that's the most important indicator I have. If you are uh, responding to the Pulse Plus, we know that you believe we're going to do something, and, and we will. The people in this room, the leadership forum, and all the leaders in the company in the coordination uh, with all of you discussing the results, because it's different results in different areas, for sure. Uh, so that is important for me uh, to see that vote of confidence. Other than that, here at the leadership forum, we talk about the second half, of course. Uh, but we talk also a lot about our long-term plans, our five-year plans, the North Stars for employees, customers, society, and shareholders, focusing a little bit more on shareholders this time, talking about where we are bringing the company forward. And of course, we spend time on the five vectors of growth and our network and our investment in networks. That we have been discussing this morning. Uh, first, if I start with the network, the investments we're doing in the network right now, uh, of course, with the C-band investment, we were on that, but also the millimeter wave on wireless, the fiber, uh, and the whole IEM, the Intelligent Edge Network that uh, was designed some four years, three, four years ago. And all the deployment we're doing in order to have the best continue to have the best network and also accelerate that leadership. And on top of that, being able to build new businesses and strengthen our core business of today. That's the whole idea with the five vectors of growth. And we talked about the 5G uh, adoption, where the mobility case, where we now have the biggest 5G upgrade ever uh, that we came out with. Uh, I think it's a week ago right now, uh, where we want our customer to be part of our 5G journey, to migrate uh, and uh, enjoy all the greatness we're building in the 5G. But then we also have the 5G home there in the 5G uh, adaption or fixed wireless access, which still is something we really need to execute well. Uh, to come out with strong at the year end here and going into 22. Very, very important for us. Then we have a couple of other areas. The mix and match is, of course, another area of the 5X of growth. You have seen a couple of new announcements recently, um, especially around uh, the gaming area. There we are now doing partnership with the gaming guys, as we have done with Discovery Plus, Disney Plus, and all of that before. All in order to see that our customer not only have the best network, they also have the best experiences on that network. So that's great to see. On the 5G mobile edge computer, or business to business, Tammy has been talking a lot about what we do today and how we can win tomorrow with all these applications uh, that we now are building, but also seeing that we're doing everything we're doing with what we have today. So it's both what we do have today, but also how we're preparing for the future. So it's a lot around the 5G mobile edge compute, of course, private, public. You have seen announcements coming out. We get traction with customers. Very important for us the years to come. Uh, and then uh, we have our monetization, the MVNOs that we're working with, which also is continuing pretty well. And finally, the last vector of growth is uh, the new areas of winter. We have visible today, and we have a pending acquisition of uh, track phone that is not approved yet, but hopefully later this year, or it will be approved later this year, and then we also have a great play in the value segment. So that's where we have spent the time, and what do we need to do in the second half of this year, and what do we need to do beyond to actually hit those targets and, 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 and see that we're doing the value creation, because it's clear. We have a lot of vote of confidence from our shareholders because 
we actually invested 53 billion US dollars in the C band to, to be an even stronger company now with additional spectrum. And then we added also 10 billion in more capex or uh, capital expenditures over the next couple of years. So all in all, we're doing big investments in our core business in order to both accelerate and amplify our, our plans for the five vectors of growth. So we have talked about that, and I think for us, that's really where the focus is on this leadership forum. Then we should not forget that we always talk about all our stakeholders. So we, later on today, are gonna to talk about our society and, uh, uh, and what we're doing in that area, which is so important in today's uh, world, where we not only are doing the right for our shareholders, for our customers and employees, but also we show up right in our society. So that's how we're gonna spend the day here today with the uh, leadership forum and the, and the leaders of the company. And I mean, I'm, I'm excited after the first couple of hours, uh, what we've discussed and uh, how we're progressing. But it's a lot more to be done. Uh, I think we have all the assets now uh, in place for executing the long-term strategy we have. So that's for us to execute. And the uh, second half is important. The next five years are important. And that's uh, how the conversation is going. So, and it, that's a little bit what we're doing here, and you have seen a lot of announcements recently. All of them are fitting into the mold of our strategy where we're going, and then that's how we want to align ourselves as leaders. And, and of course, uh, we will talk later on today about work forward, where we, of course, have spent our time on that for, the, uh, w the, for our employees that has administrative offices as their home location, how we're moving that forward as well. So an exciting time, and uh, we're all excited to hear about the opportunities we have in front of us. It is awesome. Opportunity is a word that we are talking about all morning. We will continue that this afternoon. Hans, thank you very much. Uh, we now have Christy joining us uh, to talk about uh, that future of work, of course. Uh, but really, uh, as Hans mentioned, we have we have some VZ Pulse Plus survey, survey results to talk about. Uh, so Christy, take it away. All right, thanks Andy. Great to be here with everybody today on the V Team. I'm gonna jump right in. Uh, we got an action-packed update here for all of you. So first you heard from Hans about the amazing participation rate. So we had 87% of the V Teamers take the survey. This is so important. We're inching our way closer and closer to 100%. So this is our highest response rate yet. And you can see how this has improved over time. And I wanna just give a shout out about how excited we are to also have 82% of our associates uh, completing our Pulse Plus survey. We're very excited, Andy, about the results. So I gotta kinda just jump right in. So overall, there's something that we call an engagement mean, which is when there's a group of questions, we kinda add together and say on that scale of one to five, what was the mean? And our overall engagement mean was 4.14, which went up 0.03 from last year. Last year we were at the 75th percentile of the Gallup database, and now this year we moved up to the 77th percentile. And just to put this in context, there's over 4,400 companies in their global database with over 40 million inputs from employees around the world. So this is truly putting us in a class of the best of the best, which uh, enabled us to be the recipient of the award you see, which is the Gallup Exceptional Workplace Award. We were one of only 39 companies to receive that based on these outstanding results. And so I was really excited to see the performance sustained year over year. So let me just give a little more context for what that that means. Uh, the survey instruments that we use go into helping us understand how engaged are our employees. And so across the bottom, the average in the Gallup database would say that 49% of employees are engaged, 11% are actively disengaged, and then there's kind of 40% in the middle. Now if we go up above that, for us, last year we had 53% engaged. We were really excited about that. This year we moved that to 56%. So we were able to get 40% that weren't sure to commit and be engaged. So bringing us to 56%. And we're gonna keep moving to hit our goal of Employee North Star of 90th percentile. Now one of the questions the VLC looks closely at is an overarching question after all of the questions, which is overall how satisfied are you 
with Verizon as a place to work. And I want to just pause here for a moment. 81% of our respondents said that they strongly agree or agree that they are satisfied with Verizon as a place to work. This is an amazing result, and we want to just uh, give a shout out to all of our leaders and our team members and our employees that are making Verizon be this place of work that we all envision for ourselves. Because in the end, it's our company, and we all have a part in bringing that to life. Now let me break it down a little farther. So we have this instrument called the, the 12 question or the Q12 instrument. And this all adds up to and becomes what is the engagement index. Now what you can see here is a lot of numbers on the page. But on the far right, there's little plus numbers and negative numbers. The pluses are green, the negatives are red. Here's the takeaway of it's very hard to move the means. On the questions, we had. Um, eight questions where we went up or stayed the same, and we had four questions where we went down slightly. We went up by 61 points, we went down by 23. So substantively huge improvement, which led to that increase in our overall engagement mean. And let me just kind of give a, a quick walk up the pyramid to tell you what's in there. So we kind of start with questions asking you, do you understand what's expected in your role, and do you have equipment and things you need to do your role? You can see here, we went down ever so slightly, 0.02. But look at the favorable percentage. 90% of the V team that responded said, I understand what's expected of me in my role. That's a huge percent. And you can see that mean is 4.48, which in the color code puts us in the 50 to 74th percentile. That means to get up to that upper, upper quartile, we need almost everyone. We need that 90 to be 95, 98, 100. So this is already an amazing result, and we see a lot of people feeling good alignment with what's expected in their role. And we also know on materials and equipment, and we're really looking forward to what we'll hear from you in our discussions, we know over the last 15 to 16 months, we've all been working in adjusted means, maybe without all of our day-to-day -day tools and equipment. And so again, we'll dig into this in the teams. Looking forward to hearing more. Then we kind of move up and ask you questions about your individual contribution. Do you have what you need to do your best? Do you feel like people care about you at work? Do you feel you're having the opportunity for development? Do you feel the opportunities and that you're actually being recognized? I just have to point out, we went, and I have, it bolded it. It's a little bit small on the far right there. We went up by 0.13 on our overall mean on people feeling recognized. Recognition is one of the hardest questions to move the needle on. And we are so excited that this came through in the results. And you can see the percents favorable. And cares about me, feeling like someone cares about you at work, that is a 90th percentile plus result. So just amazing and speaking to the caring environment here. We move up and ask questions about teamwork. So not only about you as an individual, but how is your team, how is you feeling like your opinions count, your work, and you understand how your team and your work is tied to the mission and purpose of the company? How committed are we to quality? And then do you have a best friend at work? And last year, I remember we got a lot of questions like, wow, why are we asking that? And the Gallup research says that this is a huge corollary with overall engagement. So again, you can see, 0.19, so we went up by 19 points on V-teamers that reflect on and feel they have a best friend at work while making great progress on the other areas. And then bringing it home, at the very end of the Q12, we ask you if you feel like someone's discussed your progress with you over the last six months, up 0.12. This is amazing, again. And so when we bring that all home, that's why that overall engagement mean went up and we moved from the 75th to the 77th percentile. We also asked some questions about um, leadership and the uh, principles that we have for leadership, our values, inclusion, and empowerment. And you can see that we have really high scores across the board here, and each of the teams will be able to dig into that and look at where we went up or down during prior year. These largely, you know, the moves were, were very, very close, but uh, pretty excited about the answers and the insight we're gaining from here. So no surprise, what's next? Well, this is, the, this is the live launch for all of us leaders and employees globally about these results. We're really excited about them. Tomorrow, all of the teams will be able to go into the dashboards, access their reports, and start diving in. Our goal 
is again to ask all of the teams to have a conversation about their results led by the team leader, and then to really reflect on your action plan, update, add new items to it, retire the ones that you feel have been completed, and again, continue to set us on a path to our employee North Star, which is to hit that 90th percentile of engagement. And so Andy, that's my update on Pulse. Thank you very much, and congratulations uh, to the team, of course. Uh, it's great engagement, and, uh, and yes, we will get to that 100% uh, very soon. We have a question here on Slido. Thank you very much for your questions. Um, Hans was right. I, I was making up for, uh, yes. for a little, uh, little, little snafu there at the end there. But OK, so Steve uh, asked, what if our state does not mandate us wearing masks? If you are not vaccinated, do we still have to wear the masks inside of Verizon offices. And I'll extend that question, Christy, really as we talk more about Work Forward. There's obviously a lot of questions and, and we're dealing with a lot of different uh, government entities, um, you know, creating rules, fixing rules, evolving. Talk to us about uh, what V-teamers should be thinking about when it comes to masks. Thanks for that question uh, from the V-teamer out there. So we have, first we have a microsite on COVID and all the policies are there. Um, the CDC's guidelines are the ones that we're following and uh, what that states is that if you have been fully vaccinated and you're past your 14 day waiting period, um, you no longer are required to wear a mask internal or outside of buildings. And that's what we're using applying to our workplaces uh, for both employees and customers and visitors. Christy, thank you very much. Um, and of course, uh, quick plug, Christy and I have done two episodes on Work Forward, uh, and uh, there's a lot of information there. Uh, and uh, it's definitely uh, something to take a look at. So you can take a look at that on VZ Web, on Twitter, Inside Verizon. Uh, those are episodes that Christy and I did in the last couple of weeks here about Work Forward. Lots of great information. So Christy, thank you very much. And it's good to see you here thank at the you, Leadership Andy. Forum. Uh, let's get Hans back up here with some questions. Thank you. So uh, we have a question here about, uh, I think we talked about this this morning. Uh, the, uh, you know, the, the stage is... Uh, okay, no, okay, you, you, okay. No, you can stay here if you want, that's fine. That's, okay. that's fine, I was okay. just kind of okay. wondering what was going on there okay, for okay, a okay. second. I'm here. <laughs> you see, we're still trying to social distance, you know, yeah, stay yeah, safe, yeah. all that good stuff. Uh, this question here from Aisha, uh, how is Verizon helping people affected with the recent cyber attacks? Yet another topic that we addressed this morning. It's great to see the alignment here between our V-teamers and our leaders here at the forum. <laughs> yeah, we had that conversation up here and Ashwin, which is our new CISO, is here in the room as well. I think it's several different fronts. I mean, first, internally, we need to work with our products, our networks, our secure, and of course, we are prepared and proactive how we build the networks. Remember as also that our brand value is about trust, so that's why it becomes very important. So I think the team is working daily to do well and, and to, to, to work across over the functions to have the best technology. And that's, of course, around VBG, uh, v, VCG, but also VMG, of course. All of them are part of what we're doing here constantly. And I think that we have a good working framework and that attacks are just increasing. I mean, just to be clear on that. Uh, uh, but clearly, uh, we are having processes where people were being proactive. We will continue to be that. Uh, then on top of that, of course, we have our offerings to our customers that we work with as well. So we are offering security services from VBG to our customers uh, to see, and we're also doing from VCG, of course, to our consumers, to see that they are more secure in times where we see more attacks. But this is a, a relentless work over time. You are never finished. You need to constantly, proactively work with your systems. I see Shankar in the room here uh, that is working with that daily as well. So all of us, from the network to the IT uh, to the CIS organization and to what we're offering, just need to think about it. So we're thinking a lot about it, and it's on the highest level in our in our company, including the board is reviewing this and seeing that we're doing the right things. But again, it's a moving target. We are doing fine so far, but we just need to continue to be very attentive to the situation around us. Absolutely. And, and Hans, before we wrap up, I do want to invite Christy back up on the stage here. I know uh, I've been seeing the uh, questions come in on Slido, and um, there have been quite a few questions about masks, and we have acknowledged this, that uh, this next chapter of our, of our uh, working life uh, is one of uh, great uh, uh, evolution. And so, uh, Christy, if you can, just update us once again on sort of what folks should be thinking about when it comes to these masks and how we're working. 
Th thanks, Andy. And we, we are fielding a lot of questions on this. So just to offer some additional insight, everything is changing practically daily. So for example, we have teams monitoring international travel policy. We have teams monitoring all of the local mandates, et cetera. So I highlighted our broad policy, but we also are tracking by county and state. So there are some that have more stringent requirements. So for example, New Jersey has requirements about collecting the vaccination record to allow people to not wear masks indoors, whereas other states do not have that. So please constantly check. And our policy and our RTO tool will always have those updates for you. And then my last comment on masks are one of the things I want to just remind everybody is tolerance and um, being kind. And so there can be a lot of reasons why someone will choose to still wear a mask, and we have to respect that. There are some people who, um, for their own personal safety, maybe they live at home with someone compromised, maybe they have uh, in their culture it's normal to wear a mask if they're feeling under the weather, et cetera, et cetera. And so we want to make sure that this doesn't become a polarizing item inside the company. So, so I think there's two ask. things coming through what you're saying, and I tried to say it in the beginning as well. One, of course, respect uh, each and every individual for what they stand for and what they're doing because th this is such a big thing, you know? And secondly, which I think is even more, uh, is equally important, is of course, they're so moving targets and so different geographically. And maybe we are sitting here in New Jersey, we're talking in one way. If we would be maybe in Vietnam or India working, it would be totally different. Uh, so it it's just a moving target. So we just need to be close. So that's why the website becomes that's so right. important because that's the relevant information that Chris and the team is putting on all the time and that is relevant because sometimes a blanket statement high up, you know, it's, it's not good enough because it's so detailed and has to be in the right jurisdiction where you live and things can change as well. I mean, uh, we have seen changes from okay. governors here in the US or prime ministers in other countries immediately and then two, two days later you need to change the rules. So uh, that's why it's become so important to have this digital tool that we have and the work that we have done with all this COVID response it's not over. Continue to follow the rules, principles, read, talk to your manager closest to you to have the latest information. Yeah, and that conversation will certainly continue. Christy, thank you very much. And as we wrap up here, Hansa, uh, your, your final thoughts uh, for the team. It's, you know, I was thinking about this. And, and last year, June 2020, um, what we, we, were, we, we watched you up there and you addressed uh, a lot of the pain that we were suffering. Uh, that pain has not yet completely subsided, of course. Uh, there's a lot of goals uh, ahead for the second half of the year. Um, and as we think about leadership, we think about compassion and empathy, uh, your thoughts, not only for our leadership team, but for our V team. No, it's a balancing act we're running here every day across the company. We need to run our business. We need to continue to serve our customers and see that we have the freedom to continue to invest as we're doing. At the same time, we have a situation around us uh, in the world and uh, wherever we are that we need to be very attentive to. We need to also be attentive to the society around us. Everything is happening. Uh, and, and I think that we have the frameworks uh, to work with all the different stakeholders from the shareholders or the customers to engage with, with us as employees, the V-teamers, you saw what Christy was presenting, and then of course what we're doing in society, what we stand up for. But what we stand up for is our core values, and I, I think, Danny, you're referring a little bit to that. I mean, we have seen the uh, racial injustice and uh, uh, the economic downturn and so many things. We stand for actually uh, uh, diversity, inclusion, because it makes us to a much better company. We will continue to fight for that, and we're going to continue to have the conversations on it all the time, because it makes us to a better company, a much stronger company, when we reflect, reflect what's happening in our society. So it's a lot of those things that are happening, but at the same time, we need to run the company, because ultimately, we're customers depending on us every day to do their business, to be connected, be with their friends, and that's all networks. I mean, the physical networks or the social networks that uh, Guru and the team are running every day as well, because people are dependent on this. And we are a big part of the society today, how we are doing that. And that's ultimately uh, our business. And that business is, is bringing us forward, both for the shareholders, for the employees, customers, and, and society. So I think that's the final word. We are here. We're going to continue to discuss. But I want to also re reinforce that the transparency we're working with, 
Christie is announcing the Pulse survey here to all employees at the same time. Nobody has ever seen them. I saw them first time yesterday night because I got the script from, from Christie. I've never seen it before. That's how we want to work. We want to be transparent with all of you employees, what we're doing well and what we're not doing well and what we can improve. And remember the last slide that Christie talked about? Now it's time to engage. And it's not waiting for the leaders. You need to also go to the leaders and ask them, OK, what was our result? How are we going to act on it? What are we going to do this time? Because if we take actions, we're just going to continue to do this. And a strong V team is going to beat everything out there, and that's going to make the big difference for us as a company. So once again, thank you all for uh, being at UTS, and thank you for inviting me. Great to be here. I love to be at UTS. Uh, the, the, the invitation stands for any stand, up to speed. You can okay. anytime. You can uh, photobomb anytime. anytime. Okay. Uh, Hans, thank you very much. And as you mentioned, this is um, all about making sure that uh, we all feel that sense of leadership and that we can feel that sense of ownership, too, when it comes to leading not only uh, our teams and our colleagues, but ourselves. Um, and I'd like to end on, um, Christy mentioned, this is about empathy. This is about caring about each other. And this uh, slide here we're about to share um, shows just how much we care. We, we've been talking about uh, India, of course, and, and all that's been going on over there. And as we have talked during previous Up to Speeds, uh, there was an opportunity for us to give back. And as you see here from the numbers, um, these are just incredible. Uh, $100,000 direct Verizon donation. And uh, Verizon uh, made sure that the employee donations were matched two to one. So you take the 265, the two to one match at 530, uh, and uh, you add that to the 100K, uh, and you're looking at a grand total of $895,000 going to help um, uh, the, the folks in India uh, who are, are still suffering. And, uh, and this, to me, embodies what it's all about being a part of this company, that we look out for each other, we lead with empathy and compassion. Uh, it's, it's a wonderful feeling to know uh, that we are continuing to think about each other during this time. There's a lot that we can be excited about, proud of, uh, and as we uh, enter this new phase here, as we see the smiles, and once again, as we see, as we hug and embrace and shake hands and, uh, and find those sort of new chapters here, uh, the hope is that uh, we also find uh, that empathy and we continue that to be our connective tissue. So uh, with that, thank you very much for watching, everyone. Uh, the leadership uh, meeting will continue here uh, in Basking Ridge. Uh, but for the folks watching here, uh, V-teamers, especially big shout out to our interns. Thank you so much for watching. And of course, until next time, you're up to speed.